goats are suitable for small scale farmers in semi arid places as they are profitable they reproduce quickly and they are able to feed on a wide range of forages as women we have seen that goat farming is good because goats gives us quick money like for example when one falls sick we use goats as our bank to get money and take that person to the hospital if you need food you can sell your goat and buy food and also if you don't have school fees for the children you sell the goat since it is your nearest bank and pay the school fees which makes living here more bearable in the traditional goat rearing practice, farmers keep many goats which have been known to increase soil erosion because goats forage on shrubs and their hooves loosen the soil crust. However, goat farming can be done following ideals of climate smart agriculture. It can be done in a way that enables farmers to adapt to the changing climate and addresses issues of food security enhances farmer incomes and mitigate climate risks that hit farmers in the arid and semi-arid areas. In this video, we are going to learn how farmers can increase their income by keeping a few but more productive goats as compared to the local traditional breeds. For a long time, there has been a lot of inbreeding between the local breeds, and this has resulted in smaller-sized goats that do not fetch the farmer good market prices. Upgrading locally adapted but less productive local goat breeds can enable farmers to quickly and flexibly match the available genetic resources to the existing production environment in an economically beneficial way. Farmer groups can play a key role in helping member farmers improve their breeds by sourcing for the right breeds, sourcing inputs and facilitating training for the farmers on key issues of goats production such as housing, disease control and feeding. Farmer groups can play a vital role in marketing the goats among members and other markets. It is important for farmer groups to adopt a market-led approach to assist farmers market their goats. I normally prefer the white goat because you see the black goat can become slim and the meat is too red. But the white gala goat never becomes small and if it does, still there is always a difference between it and the black goat. I like buying white goat for slaughtering purposes. I also buy goats for selling and sometimes people also send me goats for breeding. The ones for breeding, you normally look at their ears. Those from Kitui and Muda have big ears and if it's a male goat, their testicles are largely and evenly divided. The gala goat is usually good for breeding. The other thing you should look for when buying a goat and you feel it's old, you check its teeth, frame and height. But white goats do not have tendencies of problems and in case of a problem, you detect it early. For example, if its fur changes, you notice it immediately. But if this happens for a black goat, it's difficult to know. It might take a while to notice that it's sick. According to goat traders in Kadonzweni livestock market, the characteristics of a good meat goat includes white in color so that diseases can be easily detected on the far, grows fast and reaches maturity early, has good body structure, a long neck, a straight back line and two well-split testicles. This is important especially for breeding bucks. Na wenda wenda mbuyila nzio wenda ukambo makulia. Na kuwe mwenye oze isi isi. Nondo hii pure mwazo zinda ziki batu kwa nina mbu ingi. If you want the best goat, you just ask any trader or even better check it yourself. The frame is usually different from the other goats. Most of the goats in Kamba land are usually small and white, but the good goats are tall with a distinct frame. Like the dairy goats have a bigger udder because their kids grow fast. 
to a point that a one week old goat may look as if it's one or two months old. So those are the goats we normally say that if you have one of them, you are far much better than a person with an indigenous cow. Those goats are called gala goats. They are usually white, their neck is long and slim, but they are big in size. The male ones differ from one to another, but their frame is uniform, such that if you get the original male and a female gala goat, they give birth to an attractive kid. For goat meat, the gala crossbreed appears to be the most suitable in terms of production and growth rates. The gala goat's characteristic long, tall body, typical of most meat-producing animals, is advantageous. This goat, if reared and managed well, has the ability to support a future rich in goat meat production. These goats are best suited for arid and semi-arid areas. Being browsers, the goat can feed on different types of vegetation, making feeding a venture within the reach of the average farmer. The gala buck can grow to up to 75 centimeters in height and weigh up to 70 kilograms, while the doe can weigh up to 55 kilograms. This is quite huge compared to the local goat breed, which reaches an average weight of 30 kilograms. A farmer can earn more from gala goats than the indigenous ones because the gala have a higher feed conversion efficiency and a big body frame that accommodates more meat. Upgrading takes between six months to two years, after which the goats are mature and ready for sale. The introduction of the gala goats seeks to produce better breeds that can adapt well to the environment and easy to manage while the farmer earns good income. Crossing the gala goat with a local goat breed can result in significant improvements in growth rate and meat production potential. There is a ready market for the meat and farmers cannot sustain the ever-growing demand for goat meat, hence the need for more interest by farmers in this sector. A goat's market price is more dependent on the weight. So, being heavier than indigenous goats, gala goats get better prices. However, to maximize returns from goat keeping, it is more about good agricultural management practices. <laughs> As a group, we saw that it was necessary for us to find a goat which would improve our local breed to have a better market, such that you can even sell a one-year-old goat at a good price. We sat down together and decided to find a goat that would improve these goats, and finally settled on buying gala goats to improve the breed of our goats and start getting money quickly, and also get milk in plenty. We also thought it was good for us to understand how these goats were going to breed. We learned that it is not good if this goat gives birth with a certain goat, then the kid also gives birth with the father. We looked for means to ensure there is no inbreeding and the goat breeds with the correct one. We therefore decided that when a goat gives birth, we take the kid in far places to prevent inbreeding of these goats. In order to improve breed quality, farmer groups can help their members acquire improved bucks suited for target regions and to establish buck stations and breeding units. It is common practice for groups to identify from amongst members one farmer to act as a buck keeper responsible for ensuring that the buck is managed properly. It is possible for farmers to establish a breeding unit where the spread of diseases and inbreeding can be managed. Since goats are very adaptive animals, they are some of the easiest animals to look after.
like most herbivores, they feed on pasture and require a lot of water. So, what have we learned? Goats are suitable for small-scale farmers in semi-arid places as they are profitable, they reproduce quickly and are able to feed on a wide range of forages. Farmer groups can play a key role in helping member farmers improve their breeds by sourcing for the right breeds, sourcing inputs and facilitating training for the farmers on key issues of goats production such as housing, disease control and feeding. Farmer groups can play a vital role in marketing the goats among members and other markets. For goat meat, the Gala crossbreed appears to be the most suitable in terms of production and growth rates. The introduction of the Gala goats seeks to produce better breeds that can adapt well to the environment and easy to manage while the farmer earns a good income. Goats are deeply embedded in almost every African culture and are true friends to the rural farmers because they are a means of survival and a way of boosting incomes.